What would it be like when you when you were to put something like this in your book, for example? I get the impression that when a CD would look at it, it's just kind of going to... Yeah, it's tough. So, it yeah, that's a good question. So when you... Um, yeah. like, yeah, there's so much to explain that exactly. it would it'd be like, okay, I don't know. You're right. Whatever. So you have to be creative and you have to sort of storyboard your idea mm -hmm. a little bit. So what I've done, and I, this is the way I've seen it in, in a lot of books, and I think it works pretty well. You have one sort of setup page, and you should all be doing your books digitally. I mean, it's just not easy. You can make a, a PDF out of a website. It's um, simple. So for that case that you saw earlier for the Nike Field Reporter, I have a one um, main setup slide. It's just, in a nutshell, very quickly explains your idea and just brought, provide a little bit of visual support. Right there, that's it. That's probably, looking at it now, it even looks a little long. Um, oh, I put it in the other section. Jimford.com, nice. I'll sell it to you. <laughs> Just so happens. <laughs> I was wondering who owned Jim Ward. <laughs> so I actually put it in two places. So if somebody misses it, one, they get it on the other side. Um, but then basically the rest of it, here's, so here's my setup in a different, a little different format. Really quick, here's what it is. Nike wanted to change their audience. And then you just flip through a little slideshow. And each key um, visual is really going slow. Could be. If you're really looking at a student's book, that's in that one, would you just like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, it's a student's book. I mean, if you're if you're sitting across from me showing it to me, you're like, all right. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I know that you can't. You don't have control over your like. Speed um, the speed of the connection. Right. I don't even think it is connected. Like, it's not turning my way. It's not. You will stop being patient with the internet. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like a low. Well, <laughs> if it works, you'd see that I just took like key frames, key key pages out of a site and did a little explanation of it, like a sentence or two. Just so you can say, okay, I get the idea. So you started out with the master concept. And then I see some key frames throughout. Great, got it. And that works for traditional too. Like your your idea, um, you know, if, if it's grounded in a more traditional component, like a, a poster campaign or a print campaign, that's fine. Um, just show each of the different elements on a different page. A little so it's tough because we're not, you know, you guys aren't uh, flash masters. Maybe some of you are, um, but creating a, a site from the ground up. Obviously, more labor intensive than you want to get into. For um, for students coming out of school like this who want to do traditional digital, also because it's like breaking into that, would you recommend like straying against applying to a job in an all digital agency for the first place? You know? Um, no, I wouldn't. I mean, you can't go wrong going digital first yeah. because pretty soon everyone needs digital. Everyone's gonna have it. Um, traditional agencies, if you go to a traditional shop, it's just gonna be so much harder to go anywhere else but a traditional shop. Um, but there are some you know, digital agencies who don't do the greatest work in the world. So you have to kind of be careful. And then there are also places that have little hot spots of good work inside of iffy shops. So you have to kind of be careful about what you're working on. Yeah, we're advised to have like at least two web components in our books. Do you agree, or should, should we have more or less? Um, I think two is good. Several is good. Um, I'd love to see it as part of a, a greater idea, and uh, again, not just a homepage, you know, nod, but more like really 
storyboard out what the site experience is going to be and how is it relevant to people who are, who are coming to it, you know, and how does it weave into the whole campaign. The great thing about digital is it's sort of like thinking in 3D. A printer just lays there. Uh, with a website, you know, you have some interactivity. You can do some you can use motion, which is really cool. Not you just you, you can't. You're not going to show the motion, you know, probably in your book, but. You, know, you should have a, a web component to that larger idea that sort of storyboards out what it might be. Makes sense. Yeah. What is this just in general? But what's kind of the most common mistake you see in student books? Stuff that. Um. <laughs> well, falling into the trap of way too many print ads uh, is one. Because a print, I mean, a print ad's easy to do. I mean, easy relative on the scale of things. You know, it's it's type, it's, uh, it's visual. You know, um, but having too many of those in your book just kind of seems one-sided. Um, too many headline-driven or too many visual solutions. Like I've seen books that tip one way or the other. I've seen a lot of writers with a lot of visual solutions, and you have to wonder, like, do you know how to write at all? Um, I don't think you need a long copy ad. Sorry if that goes against yeah. your thinking, but I I have yet to read a long copy out of my life. And I'm a writer. <laughs> there's nothing that I find that interesting that I want to read that much about. Sorry. Um, Do you read one of the things we talked about earlier today in class was there was these long copy and we're like, oh, they won't read it unless they're really considering hiring you. And they're like, okay, let's go. And, yeah, or if the job um, calls for a lot of long copy, and then you have to wonder, is that the job that you want? Why are you writing so much copy? <laughs> um, another trap is um, uh, we talked about you know fucked upness, which is that you need a good, healthy dose of fucked upness. But if it gets too fucked up and you use the word fuck a lot, that uh, I don't want to see that. So I've seen some books that are like again back to that. I'm wacky. I'm gonna swear in my ad. Like, come on, no one's gonna buy that. That's not a real ad at all. So, watch out. I'm sure no one in the room does that. Yeah. Do you look at resumes? Yeah. I didn't. I used to like uh, think that the resume was like not even worth the paper that's printed on. For a long time, I didn't even have one. In fact, for a long time, you saw that little library card thing. Maybe so slow loading. Um, <laughs> I, uh, my, I put my resume on, on, a, on a library card, and that was it. It just said where I was, when, that was all. And then recruiters were saying, I need to know more about what you worked on. I'm like, that's all my book. That's what my book's for. Like, no, people want to know, like, not just where you've been, but what you've worked on. And then as you get further on in your career, it's like the dreaded bullet pointed resume. It's like, brought value to the company. Bullshit like that. I've actually had to 